It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. Now from the second city of Chicago, head down Lakeshore Drive and you find Venerable Soldier Field, home of the Bears. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, excited for this one. Ponga, what are we looking at here as this game gets rolled? You know, I think this game is quite interesting in the fact, Mike, that I feel like before every week's matchup, we sit up here and we talk about quarterbacks in the passing game. And obviously, that is the direction the NFL has been headed for the last couple years. But in this matchup here today specifically, I think both these offenses want to flip that on its head. They want to control the clock, time management, ball control. Don't be afraid to punt the ball away and play defense. It's a little bit of an old school philosophy, but you have to do whatever it takes to win each matchup. And I think both of those formulas of these two teams are very similar. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg, just his second as a starter, waited his turn and had a really good first year as a starter. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. Now the replacement for Aaron Jones is Josh Jacobs. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. It was Kevin Byard that time to make the play. Here's second and six. Off the play fake. Here's Love. And he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long day for this offense. They're going to have to put some extra guys in there, mix in some play action, keep this pass rush off balance. On play action, look. This one, up top for Dobbs. The most important stat, Mike, to determine wins and losses in the NFL is clearly turnover differential, your ability to protect the ball and on defense, take the ball away. And for any offense, that's even more critical when you have the ball on your side of the field. On the return, it's Carter. And he'll be brought down, short return. And they'll take over there. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Now the free agent signee from Philadelphia. It's DeAndre Swift. And he's going to get it. First down, taking this one up past the 40-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. 
On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Nice first down catch there by Cole Komet. And, Mike, I've had a chance to spend some time with him in Nashville these last couple summers and at our TEU event that I run with George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And for a big body, for a guy who's just a large, large guy, he can really bend. He can run. He can get in and out of his break. And I think that's a big reason why, as he's continued to develop, he's a very good run blocker. And he's really become that dynamic weapon they thought he would be coming out of Notre Dame just a few years ago. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. On second down, it's Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears are out to an early 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This returnable with Reed. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Packers offense ready to possess the football for the second time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and 10. Start on the ground with Jacobs. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Once again, it's Jacobs. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. It's the tight end craft in motion. Out of the shotgun. It's love. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. Here's Daniel Whelan now. And he's on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. And 
and he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Bears offense ready for their second possession. They had the field goal on the opening drive, took the early lead. See if they can improve on that here. 3-0 our score as we begin first and 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. Go again with Swift, and he's going to be close to a first down. Looks like he'll have just enough to keep the chains moving. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Uh, give up the middle with Swift. He'll take this forward, maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Darnell Wright, guilty that time. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Well, that scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. A good spot here, second and a yard. This is an RPO, and quickly they'll hit Allen be taken down after a gain of three but that is good enough for a first down one of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL Mike is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible and sometimes it's by design sometimes it's based on need but really nice job there by the quarterback getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch first down it's swift he'll burrow his way forward for a couple way walker the linebacker on the tackle look him up on a second down and eight working out of the gun here's williams inside the 10 it is caught and he will get into the end zone. Heenan Allen. Touchdown, Chicago. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is, in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often, these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike. And... He's able to connect here for a big touchdown. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. He knocks it through. And the Bears are out to a 10-0 lead.
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Packers offense ready to take over once again. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. From the gun, it's Love. The catch is made. This is Tucker Kraft. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll work now on second and four. Here's Love. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. They'll try to run it here with Jacobs. And he will have a Packers first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Love to throw it on first down. Quick throw out wide. It's caught. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. Love, how quickly to dodge. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. We'll go play action with Love. He's got a man. That's Watson. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25 yard line. Now, Mike, I really like this game plan, right? The strategy on third and short so often is okay, just get enough for the first down. If you decide to air it out, everything short get a fresh set of downs they're saying the defense is going to pack it in close they're protecting the sticks so let's just throw it over their head and try to go for a big play they'll come up here first and ten they'll run out of the gun with jacobs he'll take this down to the 23 jack sanborn on the stop Second down and eight. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's able to find a crease. Get ahead for seven. He'll bring up third down. And he will have a Packers first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. Catch made there by Watson. 
And they'll get him out four here as he is taken down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Here's a second and six. Love. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? And he will dive into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Brandon McManus now to add the extra point. He's got it, and the Packers are on the board. It's 10 to 7. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Tyler Scott and he'll get this up past the 20 and that's where they'll set up shop the veteran Keenan Allen and the rest of the Bears offense heading out to take over once again they lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten Here's Williams now to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Here's third down and a few inches. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And he's going to have a Bears first down. He has it by plenty. They keep the drive alive here on third and inches. Third and inches, you see a lot of teams try to take a shot. Why, Mike? Because they know on fourth and inches, they still have a chance to convert the first down. The shot wasn't there, but they're still able to pick up a nice game and convert and bring up first down. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing again, Williams. Completing that one to Carter. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. Quickly to the outside and complete. The Bears will use one of their timeouts here. And they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go until halftime.
He'll come up now for second down and four. He'll try to throw again. Here's Williams. He keeps it himself. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and most importantly, a first down. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. And that time, the pressure too much. He'll go down. That's a second charge timeout to Chicago. And they stop it with 19 seconds to go in this opening half. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw, it's Williams. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And third down coming up. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently. Not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. now it's Cairo Santos for the field goal this about as short as you can get he is two for two that kick is good and the Bears gonna tack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half and that's a really nice boost here before the break I mean you work the clock well you're able to steal some points the biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's first and ten. Now Love. He's going to go deep. Looking for Reed. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He had a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Bears offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten.
Now Williams. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. Throwing on second down, Williams. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Here's Williams on first and ten. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or backside. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, it leads to a sack. They'll run. It's Swift. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Packers offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The deficit, six points. So a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. Open man is Reed. He's got it. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. They'll come up to third and three. On play action, Love. And on third down, that ball incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They'll begin with first and 10. <laughs> On 
on the bootleg, it's Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. A play fake. Now Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Second and seven. On the ground, it's Swift. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. And he puts his head down, and he picks up the first down. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for, because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. A run here with Swift. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. It is third and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. He'll try and get there on the ground. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So now the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to make it a two-possession lead. This one has plenty of leg. And it is good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Nixon on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. 
They trail here by a couple of scores. The margin is not. As this drive starts with first down. It's the tight end craft in motion. They'll run here. And a good piece of running there. He'll get about nine yards past the 35-yard line. Second and a yard. From the gun, it's Love. The coverage too strong that time. The ball batted away and incomplete. Jaden Reed was the intended target, and it'll be third down. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And... I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. On comes the Packers punting team. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This will be returnable from his own 15. The Bears offense starting to trot out for this next possession. The cushion is nine as they begin this drive with first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And he'll get four here, up to the 24-yard line. On second down, it's Williams. For the sideline, he's got Allen. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Third down, three to go. Here's Williams. That's caught. It's the tight end, Everett. First time they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To throw is Williams. That's complete to Moore on the right side. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They'll go play action here with Williams. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. The whole idea of the play-action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower-developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing, and ultimately led in an incompletion. 
Hats off to the interior of this defensive line. Look at the penetration they're able to get up front, Mike, to defeat their blocks. And third and an inch, they knew that run was coming, and boy, were they ready. The Bears send out their punk team as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. That's going to be out of bounds. Well judged and spotted right at the 10-yard line. The Packers offense ready to take over once more. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. Love to throw. I've been in enough locker rooms in my day, Mike, and pretty much all of the messages are the same. We want to start the second half fast. We want to take the fight to our opponent. Well, snapping the ball inside your own five-yard line after that sack, I promise you, was not part of the speech. And if they're not careful, they're on the verge of surrendering two points here. They'll keep it on the ground. And there's defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. They'll stick to the ground. And a great run after being backed up. He's up to the 25-yard line. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll run. And he does not want to go down. Somehow he turned that into a gain of six. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. A second down throw for Love. And this throw batted away and incomplete. Jalen Johnson had the good coverage and is able to knock that one away. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And Next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. Critical third down conversion there, Mike. Now brings up a fresh set of downs. You find yourself here trailing in the fourth quarter. They got to go down and score, and they got to score fast. On first and ten, here's Love. And this ball's going to be incomplete. Josh Jacobs was the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. 
for the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Throwing on second down, Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. From the gun on third down, it's Love. He gets that complete as he hits Reed. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one, good for 16 yards. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. He's got it at the seven. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. They call this the alley. So it's the area between the hash marks and the numbers. And depending on what defense they're in, there is a lot of space to be had down those seams. So if this defense doesn't make a couple of adjustments, I wouldn't expect this offense to target any other place on this field. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. Second and goal. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as tough. But you got to make that catch. Give your team a chance to come away with this drive with some points. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. A one-score game late, and you figure... They gotta have this one as they'll try an onside kick. Past midfield. All right, so you take your shot, you don't get it. But now your defense has to save the day. You've got all three timeouts. You've gotta get a stop here, force them to punt the ball back, and give your offense a chance to win the game. The Bears offense ready to get back at it. They'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. First and ten. They'll run out of the gun. It is Swift. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Another run here, another run by Swift. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down.
The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one in the win column for the Bears. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. In the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from along the lakefront at Soldier Field in Chicago.